Hey everyone, this is Romain from RainPhotosClub.com and today we have another uh, short tutorial on lighting. Uh, so we're going to be talking about backlighting, uh, what that is. Uh, so first of all, backlighting is image that comes from behind your subject. Uh, and there's a couple of challenges that you will face when you come when you try to photograph with light coming from behind your subject. So we'll go into those and how we solve them and how we can make some awesome backlight photos. So we're going to start with one of the more obvious problems with, uh, with backlighting and that is lens flare. So when you face your camera towards the light like this, uh, you are letting light straight into your lens and it creates flares and it creates funny colors. Um, and in this case, it's coming past our subject and completely obliterating the subject so you can't actually see what I'm photographing. Um, I'm sure you've seen this in quite a lot of photos, um, especially if you're just photographing with your phone. So the question is, how do we deal with this? Well, the first method I'm going to show you is to put your subject in front of that light so that they block the backlight coming through. It's still coming through, but it's not as strong as it was uh, in the previous photo. Um, and you can see you get this nice sort of halo effect coming through uh, around her and outlining her. So she stands out quite nicely. Um, so this is quite a nice way of, of kind of still using backlighting. But um, the problem is you do have to drop or change your angle in order to get it. So what if you want to have a more similar photo to the one on the left, um, but still have that backlight coming through? Well, you can still still do this. Um, you just need to use something in your background. So in, in this instance, I've used one of the trees in the background uh, to still hide and control that flare. So she's now sitting in the light perfectly, um, but it just still has that little halo effect and, and backlight coming through. Um, and yeah, so the light in the background is, is more controlled because there's a tree in the way of that flare. If I had moved a couple of centimeters either way, you would have the same effect as from the first photo. So it's just knowing how to control that light. Um, and this is all with natural light, obviously, not with, um, with any external lights yet. So at this point, it's still very basic. Um, but yeah, so in, in a natural environment, this is how you would control lens flare. The other problem you might have with um, with backlighting is that you might create a silhouette, especially if you're still shooting on auto and you don't really know how to how to change your manual settings as yet or how to manipulate the situation. Then your camera might read that it needs to take a silhouette. So um, in this case, we have a silhouette. Um, so this is because the light is behind her rather than in front of her, and the camera is reading the light uh, off of her and making the photo darker. Um, so how would you counteract this if you were just shooting on auto and you needed to, to still light your subject? So you still want this nice pretty light behind her, but you want to be able to see what your subject is and not have a silhouette. So you can do it. Um, and the way that you do this is to turn your flash on. It's one of the, probably one of the only times I would ever say use your flash, especially on your phone. Um, and it, you, it basically lights up your subject in the front. Um, but it's controlled enough that it doesn't look like major flash. And it's quite a nice way of, um, of lighting a portrait to have one light or light coming from the back and the light from your flash because it makes this nice little light in her eyes as well. So, uh, so you still have nice ambient or background lights around her, um, but your subject is nicely lit. So basically, uh, backlight can be used in any situation as long as you know how to control it and use it effectively. So in this instance, I have light coming filtered through the background uh, and it's it's quite low in the sky, so it's nice and soft and it's hitting the elephants uh, and it just creates a nice peaceful sort of a look. Um, so yeah, so you, you just need to know how to manipulate it so that it's overexposed slightly. This will come later with manual settings. Um, but this is the first sort of instance that I would use, use backlight. Whereas in this image, in, in complete contrast, I do have lens flare in and I've consciously decided to let the flare come through because it adds a little bit of drama to the photo and it helps to light up all these little textures on the cactus. So it's not to say that you can't use lens flare in your photos, you just need to know how and when to use it um, rather than having it be a burden or, or uh, distracting from your photo rather than enhancing your subject. And lastly, we have a silhouette. So silhouettes basically are, it is backlight, um, and then you have a very interesting subject in your foreground, but it will be completely dark. So we can't really see any detail in what is in the foreground here. Um, so it's it, the most 
important thing to remember with silhouettes is to make sure that you have an interesting subject that we can see, still see what it is, even though uh, it's silhouetted. Um, so there's no detail in your subject, but it just has nice colors behind it uh, and it still stands out. Um, I will do another video on silhouettes later, but for now, this is just to show you what how backlight can be used. So I hope that you've enjoyed this intro to backlighting. Um, on the screen now is our website, renphotosclub.com. Here we offer free tutorials um, as well as a paid option where you can get feedback and basically coaching uh, to improve your photography. Um, but otherwise, if you just want to follow along with the YouTube channel, please do subscribe to the channel um, and hit the bell notification to be notified when there's new videos. Um, and leave a comment in the videos to let us know what other photography tips you would like to hear about and we will gladly put a video together for you. Um, otherwise, I hope that you can start getting creative with some backlighting options uh, and start playing around with this option. Uh, and happy photo making and we will see you in the next lesson.